Hi guys, Ron Ryder here. Uh, it's been a long time, I haven't done a video in quite a while. Um, what a difference a month makes. Some of you may have seen the video I did about a month ago reviewing my Cervelo S3 with the ETAP builds. Um, yeah, well, I've had a bit of a crash since then. My first crash in 11 years, so it's been a long time. But uh, as much of an innocuous crash as it was, just a wheel touch, uh, a lot of damage was done. One of which was breaking my collarbone in half. Bone ended up like this. Uh, just came down really hard. Again, touch wheels, came down really hard on my shoulder and just compressed and busted up my collarbone. So I've got a metal plate in here right now with six screws. This just happened uh, nine days ago, uh, today, as of today, nine days ago. And yeah, so surgery's gone well, I'm healing up quite well, but it's gonna be another at least two months until I'm back on the bike again. Um, and on this ride, actually, uh, a buddy of mine, Darren, was filming. So he got it, he caught it all on film. So I'm gonna let you guys see that really soon. Um, and I'll also let you see the damage that is being done on my bike because it is now a mess. Yeah, so uh, that being said, uh, let's move on. And uh, what I'm going to do right now is just show you the video of the crash and uh, a bit of the lead up to the crash. Um, it was a windy day uh, in Dramana, which is just uh, about an hour outside of Melbourne. And yeah, I had a bit of a, a crash and um, whatever, it is what it is. Uh, we got it on film, just a bit of a wheel touch and you'll get to see it now. All right, so uh, yeah, check it out. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we're just leaving Mornington here. I just want to thank Darren for providing the footage. Really appreciate it. Uh, this is his rear view cam view. Uh, we'll skip forward here to climbing Balcom Road Hill. Uh, this is kind of the uh, less steep part. We've already done the steep part, and uh, it's probably about 3.5% gradient. Uh, with some real heavy hitters, some real fast riders on the day, so we're really happy just to be keeping up and feeling confident and good. So we skip along here to being on the Pian Highway. That's Brendan Leahy there on the left, a real powerful boy. And we've got Gavin, a real monster up front, and John in there just starting to take off a little bit. So figure I'll close up the gap. We'll get accelerating here and get down to business. So here we go. And we'll skip forward a little bit to where the accident happens. I'm riding on John's tail. I've got some heavy crosswinds going with just in Germana. And right there is where I touch the wheel and go over and Craig comes flying over top of me. So we'll go over it in slow motion, riding along here on Darren's tail and that's where the trouble starts where I just barely graze his wheel and I go to avoid it and I kind of overcorrect a bit. Would have been okay coming back but right here is where I touch his wheel and go over it. Boom, down on my shoulder, broken collarbone, Oh, handlebars twisted, head slams the ground right there. Um, yeah, yeah, bars twisted, levers done, rear neck done. Uh, um, and then Darren goes down, hits me, and then Craig hits me from the back, and over he goes. And this is a point where he realizes he's, he's screwed. And projectile with bike attached to his feet, and it's as quick as that. Okay, so I'm back. Um, yeah, yeah. again, you got to see a fairly innocuous crash. Um, shit happens. That's all you can really say. Uh, I'm just glad everybody was okay. Um, I really took the worst of it, uh, my body. Um, but yeah, everybody else was actually okay. Uh, Craig, who went flying over, you probably saw him going flying over the top there. He um, uh, went into to the hospital just to make sure everything was okay and there was no broken bones or anything. I think they put him in a neck brace for a little bit because uh, did have a bit of a roll in the tumble. But um, yeah, he, he is okay. And Darren, who was filming, crashed, uh, but he was good. Had a bit of a painful uh, calf muscle, but 
uh, otherwise he was good too so really glad about that most importantly um, but yeah and then of course my injuries which I guess would have been the worst but my poor steed here has taken a bit of a beating uh, you probably can't see it from there but uh, I will show you some close-ups but uh, the first thing that you'll probably notice is my SRAM ETAP rear derailleur is off. So my, um, um, the dropout snapped, which is a good thing, because, uh, you know, saved the derailleur a bit, but the dropout did snap. And, um, you know, as you can see when I zoom in here, you'll notice that um, it is pretty badly scuffed and I don't know how the alignment is once you put it back on, I'm not sure, so it might be a bit of a write-off. Um, the front neck is fine, took no damage. Um, the levers quite scratched up, as you can see, uh, especially the left lever, which I still haven't been able to figure that one out. Oh, hi, Bronson, that's my talk, Bronson. Um, still haven't been able to figure that one out because I crashed on my right side. And obviously something went happening over here, flipping on the left-hand side. And my bike didn't flip or anything, though. I didn't see it do that. Uh, but the right side is where it took the impact, and it's actually quite bent in. And you can see, if you look at the handlebars here from on top, you can see that obviously they're bent over to the side. Um, I think the carbon and the bars are okay. Um, my Aerofly is S-Works. I think they're it's okay. Uh, but the levers are off an angle and scratched up. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what happened with the brake here, but the lever, again, is a bit messed up. Something's going on with my front brake, so that might need some replacing also. Anyway, we'll see. But the worst thing, uh, you, you can't see from this angle, but I will show you, is my rear chainstay is cracked right through. Uh, I guess that's where the impact from one of the guys coming in and hit me from behind. Um, uh, that took the brunt of it so it's cracked right through so frame is right off <laughs> um, yeah yes it's true frame is right off um, so gonna have to get, get that replaced and thank God I've got insurance uh, I'm just gonna start the process now but um, I'm sure they'll be good and live up to their end of the deal and uh, we will get ourselves back up and on the road I've got a bit of time to kill obviously so I'm not coming on anytime soon but also, if you look at my pedal here, it got ground down so much that I'm not sure if that's even going to work. I think my pedals are toast too because um, that was ground down so much, I don't know how well it's going to fit in the cleat. Um, so yeah, that's something I'm going to have to check out too. But uh, yeah, got a bit of a flat here too. Um, I know from my last uh, Cervelo R3, um, the reason I had to get it replaced is the rear dropouts where the bonds are. Had, uh, had hairline fractures in them, and it had kind of caused the wheel to kind of move to the left. I couldn't line it up no matter how you put it in or no matter how the, the wheel build went. Uh, Kevin from Gravity Zero tried to adjust the wheel so that might fix it. We couldn't do anything about it. So we noticed that there was cracks in the bond. So we were able to replace that, um, or we'll replace the frame and get that fixed. But when that rubbing was going on, these were brand spanking new um, uh, GP 4000s uh, by Continental and um, yeah they are toast I guess the sidewall couldn't take what had happened and um, yeah they are completely destroyed the rear one anyway front one's fine but brand new tire Gonzo so I'll have to replace that um, these are Gravity Zero rims he's a local builder um, here in Melbourne um, and he built me these wheels quite a while ago it was 2013 he built these for me me in my big frame, and I was even bigger back then. These are 38 mils. At the time, he was uh, they were the only wheels I could find that would guarantee me that the wheels would hold up with my body weight. I think at the time I was over 90 kilos, and uh, they've been great ever since. I've had them ever since. They've worked brilliantly well. Um, you know, so there are some cheaper wheels out there, full carbon wheels that you can find that are fantastic. And these ones, man, I don't care what anybody says, I've loved them, okay? So Gravity Zero, check them out if you're around and you uh, don't want to spend three grand on a new pair of wheels, all right? Um, yeah, so that's about it with this. Um, again, my rear chainstay, man, it is just so 
rude. So gonna need to replace that. But hey, look, I ended up being okay. My helmet actually got destroyed. I'll bring that out and show it to you guys too. But my helmet uh, got destroyed. So obviously with the impact, I hit my head. I didn't even know that I had. Um, it's a cast proton helmet. The thing really did its job. Um, obviously I'm still here speaking normally and fine. Uh, really did its job, worth every single penny. Cast Protones, uh, any of the cast casks I'm sure are, are really good, but the Australian standards here for helmets are very high. Um, so yeah, that thing did really, really well for me. I love it, it's aero, it looks cool, it's an awesome helmet, but it actually did what its main job was to do, and that was to save my skull. So did that, uh, my S-Work 6 shoes, fully destroyed, uh, worn on the right hand side where I fell, just wore right through as you can see here and um, yeah, I, again, not cheapest shoes in the world so I don't think I can really just replace those, I didn't have them under my insurance list, I should have, I was going to put my shoes in my helmet but I didn't because it was bumping up my price quite a bit uh, for my annual fee but um, yeah, hey, look, I, I, I'll just have to get those replaced um, and I, I have heard that Cask does have a crash replacement program, uh, certain countries around the world, so I'm going to follow that up and I'll let you guys know how I go with that because, um, you know, hopefully, I think it's a, they said it's something like 50% um, uh, discount if you buy another one of their helmets, so uh, that's what I plan on doing anyway, so we'll see what happens, but for now guys, thanks for watching, um, I will be back with another video once I get my new bike. <laughs> again uh and I'll, I'll let you see how that is i'll let you know how the process goes on uh the crash replacement for the cask proton helmet um and let you know how my insurance goes with getting everything recouped okay so again thanks for watching um keep the two wheels on the ground and uh please like comment and subscribe it really does help me out cheers